<clears throat> okay. 8-116, we need to use a 5D process to help us solve the problem. Okay, Liliana, Lillian, Isabella, and Isabella went shopping for school supplies. Lillian found her favorite notebook on sale, so she bought three of them of the same exact notebook. Isabel also wanted a notebook. She bought one of the same notebook okay, that Lillian bought. Both girls started shopping with the same amount of money. If Lillian spent all her money and Isabel had $5 left, then how much money did each girl have when she arrived at the store? Okay, this 5D process is actually really different from what we've been doing before. Um, or maybe I'm just doing it differently. But this is uh, these are the... the um, Describe parts are the facts that we need to keep in mind. Um, Lillian bought, oops, bought three notebooks. Isabella bought one notebook. Um, what was I going to say? Let's see. Um, is a uh, Bella had has five dollars left. Lillian has none. Okay. Um, both started with the same amount. And finally uh, we're trying to answer how much money did they start with. Okay, so this is going to be kind of complicated, and, and this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to say, I'm going to use a variable, I'm going to let x represent the cost of a notebook. Okay, and this is my thinking. Um, for the define, I'm gonna say I'm gonna define everything by how much money they spent. So I'm gonna define Lillian by saying that's three x. Lillian, I should put that first. Okay, and then Isabella is going to be um, her notebook. Oops, sorry, if it's going race that we're using x. Her note one notebook cost, which is going to be. Um, X, but she also had five dollars left. Okay, so my strategy is to go ahead and figure out how much they made, how much they spent, and see if it's equal to each other. Okay, and this is oops, this is Isabella. Okay, so again, the do is going to just multiply out three X and see if it equals X plus five. If it does, um, I'm just going to figure out if they're equal. Okay, let's um, let me just put a straight line here. Okay, so for our first trial, trial one, let's go ahead and just guess, I don't know, $3. Okay, that means, oops, let me put a line down here. That means for um, Lillian, Lillian, three times three, okay, which is nine. For Isabella, it's three plus five, which is eight, okay. Does nine equal eight? No, and it's too. It looks like it's too much. Okay, so next let's just try uh, two dollars. Okay, so three times two because the three notebooks give me six dollars. The first notebook plus five is seven dollars. Okay, now we're getting the opposite. Six equals seven, so that's no, and it's too little. Okay, so if, uh, you know it looks like it's right in between. So I think we know the answer. Again, let's double check. Let's see, two dollars and fifty cents. Three times two dollars fifty cents is going to be seven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, two dollars fifty cents plus the five dollars is seven dollars fifty cents. Okay, they're equal. So yes. Okay, so for the declare, how much money did they start with? Well, they started with seven dollars and fifty cents